what's up boys and girls, how y'all doing? Alex here in downtown Toronto in the busy financial district just before rush hour. I think it's around 2.45 p.m. on this Friday, uh, August the, I think, I think we have a 10th today. I, or is it the 11th? Let me check my phone real quick. Yep, it's the 11th and it is exactly 2.46 p.m. I was right, actually. And as you just saw, the street sign, yes, we're at Richmond and Young Street. And there's Queen Street, the next block to the north. And I'm also standing right next to the Hudson's Bay flagship store, which is actually owned by the, uh, which is actually owned by Cadillac Fairview. They bought the building in uh, the mid 2010s. You can see the Toronto Eaton Center sign there as it's officially part of the, uh, the shopping mall, which is uh, accessible via the bridge. Oh yeah, look, there's a time right there, and I don't need to tell you about temperature because it was uh, it it displayed 25 Celsius before the screen changed. So <laughs> I I didn't even notice that. Otherwise, I would have started my. Otherwise, I would have like zoomed out of that too. But anyway, I don't. I think I've never ever filmed a walk on this. Uh, street before. I've only filmed Richmond Street East, but not Richmond Street West for some reason. So I think we're going to do just that. So Richmond is a one-way street that heads west and it runs parallel with Adelaide, which is a block south of here, and it, and it runs in the opposite direction. And looks like they just completed the uh, Oh yeah, they, they, they recently completed uh, the new tower for the Bay Adelaide Center, or it looks like it because it definitely looks like a modern concrete glass, which gives us some reflection as you can see. It's, it's actually pretty nice, so that's the actual Hudson's Bay store, and then that skyscraper up there is the Simpson Tower. As the bay used to be, uh, as this store used to be a Simpson store, and then uh, uh, the bay bought it out in 1991. And the Simpsons made, and the Simpson Tower uh, still maintains some activities uh, in that building. And I think it's still the headquarters for HBC. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite surprised. You know, I was I was looking for uh, my I was looking through uh, my YouTube Studio app on the phone, and I just literally came up with this last minute idea since I, since I didn't see anything that I filmed a walking video along Richmond Street West. So we're gonna do that. I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way to Baffer, so I may not. We'll see. I'm in no rush. I've been out pretty much all day with my uh, mom. Had to go to an appointment, which went well. And here's Bay Street and Old City Hall. And Nathan Phillips Square is just to the north, is on the other side. Actually, me and Cousin Emily were walking around here on the Tuesday. So that's why this area seems familiar. And yes, uh, the gridlock, traffic, construction is a normal thing here in uh, the downtown core. I think traffic gets a lot worse here on uh, Richmond and Adelaide, like probably around like four or five-ish. But, uh, oh yeah, uh, my mom and I went for lunch uh, at the Eaton Center. She got like ramen, I had a delicious pizza from Esparo, and I wanted to go to Little Canada, which is a very awesome tourist attraction. Uh, just search it up online. Basically, a, a long story short, it's a, uh, it's pretty much Canada and its largest cities and landscapes in miniature scale. So, uh, almost all of the exhibits are, were built in, uh, like miniature scale models. Really, really cool. I did a, I did a, like two, I filmed two videos there last year. It's up on my channel. So I, mean, I didn't really bother filming another one because it was almost the same thing except a new, a few new things were added in. But the only thing I filmed was following one of the miniature trains. There's, there's a couple miniature go trains, via rail trains. Look at that. That's a freaking good shot at the uh, first Canadian place right there, eh? 
Look at that. <laughs> oh, and this is the uh, Sheraton Hotel on the right. It's quite nice inside. And you have some nice Otis elevators too, though modernized, but unfortunately you need a you need a, a car to uh, access it. But uh, there are a couple of times where I ate uh, poutine from the nearby food truck, brought it inside because there's a ton of pigeons out there. And yeah, my mom and I uh, just separated like, uh, she's, she's going home now. Uh, it was like uh, 30 minutes ago and uh, I was just hanging out in the bay, I had to use the washroom and then I was thinking, okay, what, what should I film? Because it's such a nice day outside. After uh, speculation of severe thunderstorms, which we, which we actually got spared from, it became sunny. I went to Scarborough, filmed a couple things, not too much. And uh, it's a nice sunny day. This weekend uh, is the return of the Taste of the Danfor, which is one of the popular street festivals in the city, and I've always enjoyed going there. I don't know if I'll make a video because of the, you know, the crowds and it's hard, and it's hard to dodge uh, copyrighted music. Maybe I'll film a video near the area, but I don't know. Tomorrow there's going to be a number of risk of thunderstorms. But we're going to make this like pretty quickly. What time did you want to leave? Eventually they're going to add the pantograph. Well, oh, I think they did already, yes. Because they were doing a bit of some uh, construction here. Revitalizing the streetcar tracks. As currently, the, as you guys already may know, the 501 streetcar uh, service is suspended for four and a half years between... What's his face? Uh, between... York and Victoria Streets. As they're constructing the new Ontario subway line, but it's actually gonna be a light metro line. Which I kinda really which I kinda disagree with, but after riding the, the REM in Montreal, it pretty much gives you an idea of what it's gonna look like. I mean as much as I'm looking forward to it, and even though I kinda disagree with the technology, it's gonna be quite it's pretty it's gonna be quite impressive. Oh and there's the Hilton Hotel. They have some very nice scenic Westinghouse elevators. And here is University Avenue, which is the city's only uh, grand, uh, physical grand boulevard, which I can, which I never get tired of. Even when I was walking uh, René Lévesque Boulevard in Montreal uh, two weeks ago, it was already, it was already giving me those University Avenue uh, vibes. And they're doing a lot of construction up on University Avenue. It's either road work or Metrolinx construction because they're the ones uh, constructing the subway line. CN Tower. Yeah, there's a cop. And the Canada Life Assurance Building. See so yeah, a lot of old government government owned buildings here. Nice detail on most of them. Here's Simcoe Street. I only filmed a walk on the street once. I really want to revisit that street again. It won't be today though. One of the elevators going up. Here's thumbnail opportunity number one. So now we're in the entertainment district. I was, uh, you know, Emily and I, we were walking through uh, the area, at least mostly along King Street West. And this area is home to some of the, uh, the peak nightlife. Well, 20 years ago, it was like absolute peak. Now, well, before the pandemic, not so much, but uh, it's been rebounding. We're gonna be passing by the uh, Scotiabank Theater. I wasn't it called the Paramount Theater back then. I can't remember, but but uh, I, it is it is certainly the uh, Scotiabank Theater. So let me know in the comments. Even though I'm born and raised in the city, I may know the city like like. Back in my mind, there's still a lot of things I don't really know too much about, so I don't remember. So that's the that's like one of the things when you're filming these walking videos. Only like one of the downsides is that uh, you may not be able to. There's like sometimes like you you forget what you're saying or 
we forgot to mention something like important or notable or whatever. So uh, that's that's just not. To, oh look, there's jack yachts. Oh, but there's the uh, Michael's store. That's been there for I'm not sure how long. Though uh, the area has been uh, seeing a lot more condos, as you can see up ahead. And that's, and that's downtown Toronto for you. Condos, condos, condos everywhere. Especially in this friggin' world we live full of inflation. So, oh, this guy's carrying a uh, tripod. Street photography, eh? There's the uh, CN Tower. Oh, Chum! So that's where, uh, that's where uh, Chum is, as well as iHeartRadio. And then uh, the Much Music building is just down the street from here. Uh, that's where Bell Media, TSN Studios are. Uh, by the way, that was Duncan Street we just crossed. And there's a popular outdoor patio. It's very huge. Me and Richard, who's my other cousin, we went uh, not only to dinner, but uh, one of the Toronto Maple Leafs were in the second round versus the Florida Panthers. We went there for game four. We decided to join, we, we wanted to join the energy there for a while, so we just went and just joined the frenzy. Leafs won. Got a constant view of the, the tower. It's closed right now, but I think they're going to open it up soon. And a look inside Bell Media. I mean, I, I wasn't around like before 2000, but uh, maybe you guys can let me know what actually used to be here. I know Speaker's Corners was here. And they had like, and uh, they had like much music something. Something like, yeah, yeah, I think, this, I think this is the home of Much Music Canada, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and here's John Street and a sightseeing bus. I heard of his place called Blaze Pizza. So yeah, so this is a so this is a uh, notable uh, uh, movie theater here. Again, this is the Scotiabank Theater. I've never actually been in there before. One of the main, major uh, movie theaters here in downtown. Oh, and there, oh, there's an IMAX theater in there too. I think I might have forgot about that. But I did see a little proposal on the other side of the street for, of course, more freaking condos. You can never get tired of that shit as a Torontonian. Again, I do like how you got the mix of some old, old buildings like these mixed in with like the new glass condos here. So obviously, it goes to show that this area has really changed over the years. Here's thumbnail opportunity number two. And here is Peter Street, which becomes Blue Jays Way at King. As it's, as it's just down the street from the, uh, the, the Sky Dome, which is where the Toronto Blue Jays play. And of course they won two back-to-back -back World Series champs, champions. Too many people, so I didn't want to point the camera. And of course, everywhere I go, there's always somebody vaping.
All right, we're gonna stay on the south side of the street here. It's been nearly already 15 minutes since uh, I started this walking video, but we're gonna continue on, of course. <coughs> Excuse me, the fashion district is up there at Queen Street. But for the most part, this is still the entertainment district. As I thought there was a frog in my throat. Yeah, so there's the Sky Dome right there. <laughs> this place here is abandoned on the left. I wonder what, what I wonder what it used to be here. Probably a probably a restaurant or something. I think after this, I'm gonna slowly start heading home and start to film maybe uh maybe I don't always do uh, bus action videos. I mean, I've incorporated some in the uh, subway compilations, but I've already finished mine. It's like 26 minutes this time. I've uh, I decided to stop doing that for now because I filmed a lot. So I feel like I'm overdoing it as well as visiting the same stations over and over again despite taking in like new views of the subway that I've probably never been to before. But I want to really focus more on the buses since the uh, since the uh, new flyer hybrid buses are slowly starting to enter service, as well as the new Nova hybrids. I want to mix that in with some of the old, older buses. You know the OG NG hybrids that are in the process of retirement. Oh, and the diesels as well. I cannot forget that. Yeah. So maybe maybe uh, later today I'll probably head up to like near my hood, film some buses there. I think there is compilation. I'm gonna film bus, mostly in the West End, because because we have the good buses, right? The good buses. Or North York as well. But East End, it's just mostly Novas. Actually, not really, because there's a lot more NG hybrids out there at Malvern. But at least it's gonna be like something different than the subway because I filmed like a couple of long ass compilations over the past few months and I've overdone it. So time to solely make a bus compilation. Of course, get the, get the OG hybrids before they retire. Hey, I've seen that bus before in the diamond and diamond wrap, EPA 10. I hate having to see uh, one of those long turn disability ads on OG hybrids, uh, sorry, NG hybrids, 1409, 1419. God, they're so annoying. I think I know that song in the background. Blasting from that Lebanese uh, restaurant there. Yeah, so we just crossed Padina Avenue, so. Uh, let's see how long it'll take to get over to Bathurst. This might be the only walking video I, uh, I'll film today. Because, you know, I feel like I've filmed everything, but obviously it's good to check up on areas that I probably haven't explored in a while, or... But I always, I always love to, to uh, rep, you know, film walking videos on the popular streets, you know, uh, Young Street, Bloor Street, Danforth Avenue, Eglinton Avenue, especially. While well, I was uh, waiting for the subway at St. Clair West Station, actually, I was also filming a couple of clips. I did see on Blog TO. Uh, so they announced that uh, you can now tap your. Oh, this is a nice mural here. Uh, anyway, uh, so now you can pay. You can uh, tap onto the TDC with your debit and credit cards, which is a very good move because even some people, they still have trouble, uh, they still have trouble when using Presto or what if you forget your Presto card at home? Well, look no further because you got debit or credit. So start the 15th, you can do that. But that's not the point though. I did read on Block.to that they're now giving us a hint Another Virginia car. What the hell? This is like the, 
This is like the seventh freaking time I've seen somebody from Virginia here. Wow. In the last week. And here's Branch Street. Well, anyway, uh, Metrolink CEO, who uh, pretty much should be blamed for all the mismanaging bullshit with the consortium and the companies that are building the line. Well, now he's giving us, now he's kind of giving us some hope and, I'm, and I still have confidence. He said that there's gonna, like closer to the end of summer, Metrolinx is gonna announce when this line is actually opening. Now they did say early 2024, we're halfway through summer, so but we still got a month of summer left to go, so that's until like uh, late September. But he did say there'll be a range of dates of when of uh, when Line Five would actually open, and you know, I'll, you know what freaking long I've been waiting, waiting for this announcement. Now, when he said range, of, when he said range, a range of dates, he probably meant he may open the line in phases. Well, it's ninety eight percent complete, but most of it now is just uh, testing, commissioning, filling up the filling up all the shit at uh, Young and Eglinton. But he may open the line in phases. Originally, I opposed that idea, but we've been waiting too damn long for this line. So maybe they'll maybe they'll open the line between like maybe Mount Dennis and Young or Kennedy and Young. Either way, you know I'm gonna get my ass up early to ride the first train. And yes, I am gonna be making a video reacting to the opening dates because as someone that's lived in York all his life. Especially near Eglinton, it's a big thing. Big freaking deal. <laughs> Obviously, it's gonna change uh, the, the local bus routes in the area, you know, the 32, which I use a lot, among others. I guess now, at this point, stay tuned, but I believe this is it. It's finally us Torontonians can rejoice, clearly. Yeah, but up Oh, here's Portland Street. I thought it was the winners in that building here. I didn't even notice that. Oh, great. Now we got to walk under this freaking scaffolding. So now we're in the western end of the downtown core. I think to get home at, I think to get home now, I'll probably have to take the 511 Bathurst Street car up to Bathurst Station. And then I'll probably just go home with the, uh, the subway. I was gonna go up to Eglinton to film some buses, but I think I might be passing through there on Sunday evening, so. I'll just wait till then. I want to film a variety of the buses at Eglinton West. I know there, I know the new Nova is on my home route too, the 109. And again, the hybrid Excelsior on the 14. So I want to catch that. Oh, guess you, you look better with a mustache. No, I hate wearing mustaches. God. Oh, but now we're near the end. As this video's been filming for 24 minutes. Oh shit, I just realized there's an elevator I wanted to film. It was on the street! Oh god damn. Ah. Oh, well, too late now. I already walked a long way, so. Yeah, that office building on the left just gave me like a heads up. Sorry, just getting a message here. But anyway, uh, <laughs> maybe next time. I literally jotted down my list. I'm still filming elevators, but it's not, not so much anymore. So now I'm posting elevators that were filmed like less than a month ago. There you guys. We're at the west end of downtown. So now I'm gonna end the video and wait to the uh, streetcar. Oh, there's a stop right there. So guys, uh, probably don't have to wait too long for it. 
Or is it a bus I gotta take? Hopefully not. But uh, guys, uh, thank you. Thank you very much as always for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my uppers as well and stay warm and, uh, and be good. All right, time to... Oh, he's going loud here. Okay, not too much, but I still hate when they do that. Okay, as soon as I say that, he does it anyway. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.